Hey guys, so today I want to actually show you how to make a video to record either uh, Titan hits, raid videos, any sort of informational things. Uh, this is how you screen capture on the new iOS. Uh, it was pretty confusing to me, uh, honestly, but I've gone ahead and figured it out. I've gotten a couple of questions on how to do this, so let me show, how, show you how to do it. First and foremost, the first thing you need to go ahead and do is flip up the screen. So if you go from the, the down, uh, like, like this pulls that menu down, but you want to pull from the bottom up and you want to essentially see this screen. Uh, first thing you'll go ahead and see is that blinking light over there that's showing that it's obviously being recorded. Uh, you will have this if you have updated your iOS to iOS 11. Um, the first setting you're going to want to go ahead and do is uh, uh, press and hold on it, which hopefully this doesn't stop the video, uh, but we'll see. So if, if I press and hold on it, that went ahead and went and deleted or stopped the video. So for you guys, you want to press and hold on that, and then after that, you'll see a mic button, which I'll try and potentially s put some screenshots so you guys can see, but you want to turn the mic on. So that's like one of the first things. Uh, over here to the right, that's the volume. So I didn't talk while I was doing that, so I didn't blare things for you, but that's the volume, and typically about right there is going to be good for you. Um, after you have gone ahead and recorded the video, you are going to want to uh, use this right here, which is called Splice. Uh, splice goes ahead. You The reason why you have to use this is because uh, when you upload the video to YouTube, currently right now, it deletes all your sound. So by importing it on Splice, you can then go ahead and edit and fix it, add music, all that kind of stuff. And then after it's been uploaded to Splice, then you can upload it to like your Google Drive or um, upload it to YouTube. I've been having to upload it to Google Drive first, and then I can upload it to YouTube. Uh, but it's very important that you know that you have to use Splice in conjunction with these screen captures, or it won't catch your voice when you upload it to YouTube. So. Hopefully this helps. Uh, Splice, it's a free app. You can download right in the the um, the app store. doesn't cost anything, and there's a ton of different tutorials on that. But that'll show you how to actually um, use it. One important thing uh, I'll tell you, and you can see the differences in my project, project one, two, three, and then the last one. Um, it's important that when you add a project, that you, um, see I'm gonna go ahead and skip up top. You go through this setting here and you change the format to portrait. And that'll make it so when people expand on your video they'll be able to go ahead and see, uh, see it full screen. You'll notice a couple of my videos are set up right now that, that, that when you expand it full screen it doesn't show it full screen. And then also when you upload it, I've been uploading it in 1080p and that just gives me higher quality because I like to have a little bit higher quality um, production. So hopefully this helps.